Most Holy Father, the English-speaking visitors and pilgrims are happy to have this occasion to express to you their sentiments of respect and esteem, and to assure you of their prayers for your ministry as the successor of Peter. At the end of the audience, His Holiness will lead us in praying the Our Father in Latin. He will then impart his apostolic blessing, which he willingly extends to the members of your families at home. His Holiness also intends to bless any religious articles you may have brought for this purpose, and in a special way his blessing goes to your children and to your loved ones who are sick. The following is a summary of the Holy Father's words this morning. On this first day of May, Mary's month, we celebrate the feast of St. Joseph the Worker. Joseph, the carpenter of Nazareth, reminds us of the dignity and importance of labor. Work is part of God's plan for the world. By responsibly cultivating the goods of creation, we grow in dignity as men and women made in God's image. For this reason, the problem of unemployment urgently demands greater social solidarity and wise and just policies. I also encourage the many young people present to look to the future with hope and to invest themselves fully in their studies, their work, and their relationships with others. St. Joseph, as a model of quiet prayer and closeness to Jesus, also invites us to think about the time we devote to prayer each day. In this month of May, the rosary naturally comes to mind as a way to contemplate individually and in community the mysteries of Christ's life. May St. Joseph and the Blessed Virgin Mary help us to be faithful in our daily work and to lift up our minds and hearts to Jesus in prayer. Saluto cordialmente i molti pellegrini presenti all'odierna udienza, in particolare quelli dell'archidiocesi di Gwangju in Sud Corea. Su tutti i fedeli di lingua inglese, specialmente quelli provenienti da Inghilterra, Scozia, Danimarca, Canada e Stati Uniti, invoco la gioia e la pace del Signore risorto. I'm pleased to greet the many pilgrimage groups present at today's audience, including those from the Archdiocese of Gwangju in South Korea. Upon all the English-speaking visitors, including those from England, Scotland, Denmark, Canada, and the United States, I invoke the joy and peace of the risen Lord.